Hi, and welcome to Two Minute WebSec Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be talking about JavaScript injection through the URL bar. Last tutorial we talked about simple JavaScript injection, so make sure you watch that to understand how JavaScript injection actually works behind the scenes. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a page that we have uh, here. It's a really, really simple page, but if you look up in the URL bar, URL bar you see there's page.php and then it passes an ID of home. We're going to change this real quickly to about and you'll see that the text on the page actually changes. So if we look at the code behind this page, you can see that what it does is it uses a get request, get request in PHP, to grab the ID that's passed along with the page. And then, depending on what the ID is, if the ID is, pay, is home, it echoes uh, this particular text, if it's about, it echoes this, etc. And you can see here, it also echo, echoes in a header one tag, the page which was set to the ID coming in. Now this is good, but suppose instead of about, we enter in some scripting language and we press enter. Now you can see that the hello alert box pops up because we exploited this particular hole. So in order to see how this happens, we look here again in the get request and you can see that it's echoed out as page which was set to this ID coming in. Well when we put in the script text that we put there, this becomes that and all of a sudden you're echoing out actual JavaScript. So you need to be careful when you're designing your PHP pages that you properly filter your input. One thing you could do is you could use the MySQL real escape string around this, like this. And let's try a reload. Now you see that we don't actually have the injection. So thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for more and.